A great day, I believe it is to you as it is to me. Well, how are you all doing out there? Welcome to the CJ Scott, the space within which we do transformation, inspiration, motivation, and empowerment. As I say, most of the time, I hope that these interactions are very helpful to you. They're beneficial to you. I know they are to me, even as I do them and share these thoughts within the short periods and spaces of time that we have. And I hope that, you know, you will get to get onto our YouTube space and subscribe, like and share as many videos as are helpful to you so that your other friends also, you know, would get to know what's going on in this space. You never know what is going to be of help to somebody. Probably this is just exactly what they were looking for. So when you share it over there, uh, somebody, a stranger, will come onto your Facebook page and uh, your Twitter, wherever it is, and then they'll stumble into it and they listen to it and they receive the help that they are supposed to receive. Well, today I want to talk a little bit about enriching your relationships enriching your relationships um, that could be marriage that could be family whatever it is but especially where a man and a woman are concerned enriching your relationships you could just be in the stage of courtship you could just be in the stage of you know you began but specifically for marriage but i don't want to lock out everybody else that's why i've titled it enriching your relationships i will have a bit more bias though on marriage you see when two people come together there's a reason why they do that. Uh, you meet so many people. By the time you got into your 20s, you've gone to school with people. You've had neighbors. You you know people that you have met either at work or even if you've not started working. The people you meet on the streets, in the communities that you are in. There's a lot of people that you've already been exposed to. There's a reason why you decided to get together with the one person that you are with right now. And so you must never lose sight of why you came together in the first place. The moment you lose sight of why you came together in the first place, you will begin to devalue each other. You will begin to uh, take each other for granted and then your relationship is going to suffer just because the purpose of the relationship has been forgotten. So it is always important that you remember why you got together. For you then to establish that and continually strengthen uh, your resolve to be together. Number one, and I'm going to give you a few A's today. Number one, do not lose the attraction. Do not lose the attraction. You must have been attracted to one another for whatever reason. Some people are attracted to each other's, you know, skills, abilities. Some people, and most people, if not all, are attracted to each other's looks. Uh, then there is also the element of sometimes somebody is just attracted to the way somebody thinks, the way somebody speaks, uh, the way somebody performs or they work. You know, there is that attraction that causes two people to get together. It, it causes you to want to be with that person and want to not leave that person. When you lose that element of attraction, then your relationship is going to suffer because then you will not feel like you have spent too much time away from each other you will not feel like oh being away from each other is even a problem you will not feel like i want to see them i want to spend time with them i want to have a date with them which is supposed to be the case even in the place where you are in marriage because that is one of the places where now this just dies people get used to dressing up anyhow you know um, every time you meet with couples who have been there for for a long time and children have come in then you will find you know people talking about the thing that once the babies began to come the woman stopped taking care of herself so the husband is no longer attracted to the woman he's seeing in the house but also on the other hand the men just sitting over there driving to work or being driven to work and coming back home they're no longer the strong guys that they used to be so they've just left themselves you know some have got this and and for some women it's not a problem but for some women then they see this thing of the guy has just let himself go so he's got this belly he's got this weight he's just put on he's no longer keen about how he dresses he just puts on anything anyhow and they begin to lose attraction towards each other now it is important for you to work towards keeping that attraction instead of trying to make your spouse or the person you're relating with attractive you make yourself attractive to them and the physical aspect is just one part of it how you do things how you decide things how you work how your skills always improve on yourself and make yourself attractive to the other person the second thing that you must not 
forget and that you must be keen on is attention. Pay attention to each other. Give each other attention. Nobody wants to be in a relationship where they're being ignored. Nobody wants to be in a space where nobody even notices that they're there, especially when it is such an intimate kind of partnership or relationship. They don't want to come into the house and it means nothing. They don't want to be by the table and it means nothing. They don't want to be around you and you are, you know, you are smiling, you're on your phone, you're smiling with other people and you're laughing and all of that, then you're quiet over here. They don't want to be in that space, so you must pay attention. And this paying attention, you must pay attention not only to what you can see, what they can say, but you also pay attention to where they are. Sometimes you will see the tiredness in somebody without them saying it. Sometimes you will see that somebody is not okay without them saying it. So you need to pay attention. If you pay attention, you will pick up details. You'll be able to pick up where they are. You'll pick up whether they are fine or they are not. Listen to what they are saying and to what they are not saying. Observe and watch and follow pay attention i'm not saying be a snoop i'm just saying pay attention you know uh if something means something to somebody then work hard to get yourself to that place where it will also mean something to you or at least show that because it means something to them then it means something to you even if there's no direct benefit to it the third thing that i would say the third a is affection do not stop showing affection to one another and affection is not just with things like touch or hug or kiss affection also is in the way you speak to one another because it is possible for people to try to be physically intimate yet they're very harsh with words they fight with words they 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 curse out they speak so badly to each other and the other person then begins to feel like they are being used if not abused in that relationship so it is important for you to be affectionate even with your words your words are supposed to be kind your words are supposed to produce the environment by the way words determine the environment or the temperature of your environment words determine the temperature of your environment so you can you can use words that are going to make the place become very hostile or you can also just use words that are going to make the place become a very endearing place so it is important for you to give uh, affection to one another you know hold hands just be kind be tender uh, let the other person know uh, that you are lovers still the other thing that i need to mention which is number four is appreciation appreciation thank you does not cost you too much to say don't get to the place where you're so used to each other that you're so entitled that you no longer will say thank you or even please. And never think that, you know, it is your right to get anything. Sometimes with men, you know, so you have, for example, you are paying the bills and so you have brought the food home. So you think it is your right to a good meal. No, that's a human being who has just given their time and their thought and their space and their ability to make you happy and they're not your maid and so when they do that and they're doing it from their heart then you must understand also that you need to say thank you to them you've got to appreciate uh, if your husband sends you money to do something that you think is supposed to be what he's supposed to do you know some people think but why am i even thanking him isn't he supposed to do that you gotta thank him because he could as well decide not to do what he is supposed to do it's just kind it's just nice to be saying thank you even if it is not your spouse but more when it is your spouse thank you for the meal thank you for passing the salt thank you for paying bills in time you know thank you for doing this so appreciate one another you must focus on the strengths of the other person and magnify them that's appreciation too focus on those strengths don't just be a critic don't just speak whenever there is something that has gone wrong something that has not been done that's when you want to talk about something so you appreciate them you compliment them you magnify their strengths and of course now when there is any time when there's an issue to talk about then you can point it out if there is an issue that is bothering you that you need to talk about you can point it out but there will always be objectivity well i've run out of time yet yeah, time is the acronym for transformation inspiration motivation and empowerment i've run out of time for right now and i hope that those four will keep you running as you enrich your relationship please share subscribe like whatever it is spread the word this is the cj's